to VMAP tips and tricks. Sometimes it's useful to be able to split an existing mesh and have that split propagate through the model, maintaining proper element connectivity. In this video, we'll see how you can achieve that in VMAP. There is a method of splitting a mesh by selecting two nodes on an element edge. In the Mesh Edge Splitting dialog, it's possible to limit the split region by selecting a number of nodes that contain the split mesh. The mesh will not propagate beyond the defined set of nodes. Without any limitation defined, FEMAP determines the best path forward and the mesh split propagates through the model. If any other element types are encountered, such as beams, they are also split to maintain a contiguous mesh. You can also split solid hexa and penta meshes using this command. And, as you can see in this example, it's an easy way of splitting the mesh to create more than one element through the thickness of the plate structure. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap or call your local channel partner.